for me. And that was fast. <laughs> so I got, uh, I got a couple of watches. I wanted to take a look at my buddies trying to sell me those, and I have some concerns. I don't know shit about AP. <laughs> so I got, what is that one? Fake. Two of them here. <laughs> oh shit, look at that. Fake. This, is one, this one's really bad though. The blue, you can tell by the blue and the chronos. <laughs> really? Because he was saying, like, telling me a story, oh, yeah, man, I got these, like, cheap and whatnot, and he was saying that they went to the AP dealer and they were legit, like, you know, they checked and they're, they, you know. Look at the case, man. Yeah, I know, just look at everything. <laughs> so that, they're not even wow. a good copy, they're a bad copy. No. That one's, I mean, that one's better. Thing too. Look how yeah. thick that is. Yeah. If you have the real, oh. Yeah. If, if you had the real one, that case back is insanely thick. That's like... 44 millimeter deep sea thick. You see how thin his is? Now I know it's like the, blue, the blue's way too light. Yeah. The the lettering and the and chronos so is way too thick. Everything. Yeah. This one would fool someone that doesn't know. Yeah, anybody. that one, that one's better than that one. The black one. <laughs> yeah, this one's yeah. horrible. Yeah, so there you go. Both of these are here. <laughs> both yeah, both are bad. I'm glad you did not buy those. No, I had no. I told you. <laughs> I, I can check him. Yeah. I got a guy. What was he, he charging? charging? What was he charging for? Nothing. He was just saying, hey, you know, uh, let's make a deal. I got these, blah, blah, gonna give it cheap and whatnot. It's like, man, I know he's not the watch guy, so that raised my suspicions right away. So one thing, if it's got a closed case back, start training yourself and look at this. Like this watch, it's a 15400. It's only been out. Well, we'll forget the years. But look at the look at the rotor. Look on right here between AP. It looks like it's like there's like there's fading, like someone took mm -hmm. sandpaper yeah, and scratched yeah. right there. And just look at how much uh, differential between like the colors. Like it's just, yeah, this looks like, it looks like that rotor's 40 years old. Yeah. And it looks like it's been worked on yeah, several yeah, times. Yeah, AP would time never right do that. Yeah. yeah. Look at how smooth and yeah, bright thing, that like, one looks. If it was Rolex, I would maybe know something, <laughs> but I don't know shit about the APs. Like I never even seen one in person probably. You do have nice educational videos now. <laughs> <laughs> this one can fool someone, yeah, for sure. I mean, that one. Can and what's like that's legit one anything. like that? What's the market value for a legit one like that? For a black fifteen four hundred, like fifty, mm -hmm. forty-eight. 50. Like it could rip somebody. Oh, well, a lot of it, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But. So but we get there selling that for a couple hundred bucks. Because the brand new, a blue dial, one of these is sixty. Sixty or sixty. Yeah. I would say, I mean, a <laughs> brand new one, 50 grand. Yeah, 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 yeah brand new one, yeah. It's hard to tell in this light, but these purple, reddish mm -hmm. jewels should all be the same color. Oh, they're not these the two color. right there are way lighter than that one right there. Yeah. And they're not the right size. They're just, they're, they're not even jewels, it's paint. Yeah. It's like a painted it's little, right. it's like a little painted cap they put in there that makes it look like jewels. So if you, if you sort, swirl this around, oh, here you go. Even on this side, see right away. The okay. jewels are always the way, yeah. even on Rolex. Yeah. The Batman you texted about. Yes, I'm about to call him because he said there was actually one of those buddies that wanted to get a bunch of those Daytonas, you remember? And now he made a shit ton of money, I guess, and he wants to invest in a couple of watches for himself. Okay. But he just texted me like an hour ago, hey, give me a couple of minutes, I want to check if I need something how else did, too. How much did you pay for this watch? How much did you pay for this? It's a lot. What's up, man? 15,500, I don't know, 15,400 black actually. Uh, have somebody for this watch. Um, it. I'll give it to you cheap. I'll, I'll make uh, it. Not that cheap. But I mean, not that cheap, but yeah. You got me a deal on the sub, so. That's my loop. Yeah, it's fake, right? Yeah, it's fake. <laughs> I thought you cheap, man. I was thinking like 200 bucks. 200? <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, so. Body was trying, the body was trying to sell those to me. For 60? Yeah. Just look at the size of it. <laughs> Bro, what is this? Uh... <laughs> so that's not even a good copy. That's why I came, because Body was trying to sell them to me. I was like, man, seems fishy like, like hell. Shh. I wanted to check because I don't know shit about AP. This one actually looks damn good. That's, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah that this one, one you can yeah, spot as soon as you look good. at it. This one, yeah. it's, it's like, like a very, it's a very light, cloudy blue. It's hard to see. I don't know how. This one can actually, you see it in that? Yeah, no, that one. Oh. This one's like good. they're fake. I want to bring them to you so you can check and see how far they got with those copies. You know. Can you see the blue in that? I mean, this one's pretty damn close. It's like a. It's. So 
So right there, like when you're looking at it right, yeah, just like way. that, um, <laughs> it's a very, it's, it's again, it's hard to tell on the video, but when you see it with your eyes and you know what the real one looks like, this is like a very light, cloudy, soft blue. The real one has, think almost like how dark and sharp the blue on this is, even though this is Rolex. But when you've seen the real AP26331, it's, I don't know, you can just tell. This is too, it's too want? light feeling. No, this is the thing. He's a buddy of mine and he was trying to so, sell them to me. Didn't say shit. So just, I'm going to give you a deal on this and that. So I said, let me check those first. Well, tell him customs confiscated these in our attempt <laughs> to, uh, uh, defer, or what's that word? Get them in the attempt to uh, combat the f fake market, we're going to go ahead and confiscate them. Break them in the camera. <laughs> On the video. Shoot him later. Yeah. I'll bring that to them. I just wanna. I actually wanna show him your video to make a point how easy it is to fake them. Yeah, how, yeah, how easy yeah. to spot a fake one if you do, you do not know. Well, yourself. I mean, it is for someone like us. That's what I'm saying. Someone yeah. that's never seen them, like yeah, yeah. I'm you know, if you've them. never yeah. seen one of those in person, you could be walking through, and most people wouldn't know the difference. Yeah. But the, but like the fifteen four hundred, it took him a second. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It took me a second to look at that. And those cards are they even like no, legit the cards? cards are they? No, shitty. Terrible. Terrible. This one I can spot right away just from the haziness in the front of it. Dylan said that the watch didn't look, um, didn't look, something looked off, so I'm just looking at it now. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you guys want more pictures, I mean, yeah, no, know, it, it's like, definitely, it's pictures. definitely enough pictures. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, the watch is definitely not authentic. Yeah. Um, like 100%. I am 100% confident. Okay. Um, and I can give you some reasons why. Yeah, yeah. Please. So the biggest and the most like obvious one to me, okay. at least, I will look at these all day. Is so this this watch should be ceramic, and it's aluminum. Okay. Right. Uh, so the bezel looks uh, way off to me. Okay. Um, and then also another big thing is the etching on the inside of the um, of the case, right above the dial. You know how it says like Rolex, Rolex, Rolex? Yeah. So that the font is like really off, um, it's super thin, and the spacing is not correct for what it needs to be. Okay. Um, the card also looks incorrect. When I look at it, it looks like a, the wrong font on the card. And then also, um, I don't know if you have like a black light available. Um, but what you can do, what you can do to even further that is these older cards like that. Uh, if you have a black light and you shine it to the top left corner of the card, you should see um, it say Rolex. Okay. Uh, it should have this like really cool uh, pattern. Well, how much did you pay for this? Uh, that's the thing. I paid fourteen thousand for it. Uh, yeah. See, even even then, that should have been a red flag to you as well, um, because these are th those are that's way under market. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at it now. Part. Even even the clasp etching doesn't look right. Um, the crown on the clasp doesn't look right. Um, the band actually doesn't even look correct either. Well, I, I appreciate the phone call. Guys. Yeah, of course, of course. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy I got that information too from you guys just to let them know in the future, but we'll continue chasing this guy down, man. Yeah, yeah, good luck, man. I, I hope you all uh, get your money back for sure, because that's definitely a big hit. You pointed out the aluminum bezel, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. Aluminum bezel's wrong, obviously. The color's wrong. Hell, the first thing I look at is the marker. <laughs> all the rough machine around that. The rough machine around the edges. Imagine if you were to draw a straight line under yeah, those, and so like how, how uneven they are. Mm -hmm. The hoop and the and the Rolex crown is is wrong, and it's not too small. Right? Well, it's not even a perfect oval. Yeah. Well, he t he said he spent fourteen thousand dollars a guy. That's already a red flag too. Look at the uh, <clears throat> the re hot engraving. How sloppy all that is. When you go from the twelve o'clock to the six o'clock side, the X is supposed to line up with the marker perfectly, but it doesn't line up. That one's a little bit off. And then when it goes from the from the 6 o'clock to the 12 o'clock, it's the R, but you can't see. Oh, actually, you can. So that R doesn't line up with that marker perfectly. Oh, there you go. 
Yeah. What's up, buddy? Yeah, what's up? You're sending me to 159 Broadway. Right? What? That's so crazy. Yeah. Uh, so I also bring this. Oh my God. Uh, how's it gonna work with uh, Corona? Are they gonna like refund you and then? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I, I'd have to ship oh. the watch obviously back to Florida. I'm not sure if you guys could do that for me. Do you? Yeah. yeah. And the dealer and the dealer hasn't. Um, it's not a dealer. It's like a private seller. Oh, a private party. party. Okay. Yeah, so the deal with this watch is he bought it off Corona 24, um, and the watch is not legit at all. Like, not even the diamonds are real, right? The diamonds are moistenite. So they're moistenite diamonds. Uh, Chinese, it's got a Chinese movement, um, and it's just fake. <laughs> this is probably worth two, three grand. Yeah, yeah. We'll take care of you. We won't let this happen. Hopefully, you get your money back. I'm sure you will. Yeah, with Chrono. Do you want to have a seat? Okay. And um, can you grab me that bag? Awesome. Hey, and you know what? Um, you know, if we ever have somebody who's kind of iffy in New York and they want to see it in person, I'll send them to your store and I'll send the watch up there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is it. Yep. Oh, we have the paperwork? Yeah. Oh, it's in my, it's in my car. Oh, can you run out and get it, please? Guys, there's no one else I'd rather spend my money with. These guys always make me feel comfortable and... You know, it's all about yeah. the presentation. Absolutely. You know? All right, Marco, I got to leave. I got to go. No, you're the absolutely store. good. Um, if you want, catch him outside. He'll give you the papers. Or, oh, yeah, no problem, no problem. And then we'll ship the box out uh, yeah, Monday. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Another, another deal done. <laughs> That's how we take care of him. Man, it sucks that he bought this AP. Got burned. It's missing so many diamonds, too. It's crazy. I mean, here. So, this is a common problem with aftermarket jobs. Is if you can see there, missing, yep. missing, 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 missing. It's just missing a ton. Of, I mean, it's like like that one's bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's missing. So it's just cheap work. These things will continue to fall out the more he wears this, or if anybody wears it. So. Be careful who you buy from online because you may get burned as this thing is clearly a Chinese movement and then I'll show you guys. You see the balance? If you look at the balance, that's kind of hard to explain, but if you go Google the balance on a uh, 15400, make sure you always look at this part of the watch anytime you're looking because this is always a giveaway.